In the last video, we talked about the gypsy scale, which was in the gypsy dance. And today we are going to be talking about the hijaz scale, which is in the song Yovano Yovanke. It's the same scale. Hello everyone, Brett here. So in the last video, we did an analysis of Vladko Stefanovsky playing this amazing lick in the G Gypsy scale or the G Hijaz scale or the G Phrygian Dominant scale, all those names. We did an analysis of that little run lick that he does at the beginning of a song called Gypsy Dance. And today we are going to look at the lick that is in Jovano Jovanke. This is a Bulgarian folk song and it's Vladko with his dynamic duo partner Miroslav Tadic uh, accompanying him along and it's the solo part that this in this concert that I saw of live in Zagreb 2007 so they play the theme I guess and then after that they do a sort of improvisation solo thing and of course Vladko Stefanovsky is an expert at the fast picking and an expert at fast picking this very ethnic sounding hijaz scale um, so we're going to have a look at the lick that he plays in the improvisation part. Let's have a listen. The first thing that I noticed when I started stumbled across this Jovanko Jovanke lick and that I noticed that it was an unusual scale was I also noticed that the guitarist had some interesting headgear. So this lick is in the A hija scale which is the same as D harmonic minor which goes like this. So this is D harmonic minor and if I were to do the A hija scale I would play the exact same notes starting on A and finishing on A. So I have this. Okay, so these notes are in the D scale. It would be D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C sharp, D, D. Right, and then for the A he just scale, it's A, B flat, C sharp, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, so the way that I finger it here is because I have this. I shift here, this note technically, this E here, 5th uh, fret, 2nd string, is technically the same as the open. But it lets you play, instead of having um, like this, instead of playing the open string, you have a huge stretch here. See if I E, F, G, A, I have a huge stretch from the 1st fret to the 5th fret. And like I noticed, playing these fast scales with these stretches like that doesn't work very well. So it works better if I have a shift here. And then I play the scale like that, doing the shift. The only problem that I noticed is that um, playing these fast licks using a lot of the pinky finger is that it requires a lot of coordination and a lot of um, being used to playing these with your pinky finger. The the scales win fast licks with your pinky finger, so that's a different. You know, we these are weaker fingers, and having them move as fast as your other fingers is can be a little bit tricky. What I found was that because we could see the left hand of Vladko very well, I thought it was going to be super easy to transcribe everything, but it actually uh, was not that easy because I thought that it was going to be perfect alternate picking the whole time. But there turned out to be some spots where there was economy picking. Anyways, more on that later. The first interesting part that I noticed about the lick is this kind of warm up figure. <laughs> So as you can see, it's it's the second fret and the third fret notes on the third and the second strings. And you're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And this is how Flatko gets to his warm up to the faster parts up here. Basically the whole lick is that. Now, the part that really threw me off was this part here. And then here there's an up, a pickup. I think it's like this, anyways. There's like that, there's, you pick with an upstroke, you do a hammer on, and then you do a double down. And this relaunches you back into the figure that goes up like this. 
so as you can see, this is how it does. It's like, it's, it's, it's really interesting. It's like, um, there's, um, starting on this note, this is the hammer on and then it's down, 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 and that relaunches me. So that really kind of threw me off because if you do everything alternate picked and you don't do this fingering and you don't keep the same fingering, you mess up. You don't have the same up, down picking stroke. And then you end up doing like a, if you, if you want a downward pick slide, you end up doing like a down stroke and then having to switch strings up, which is a no, no. Do up, down, and then up, down. This pattern doesn't work. So you have to solve it by going up, hammer on, and then down, down. The other part where the economy picking comes in is at the towards the end of the lick where you have kind of the same, it comes back to the same figure. So I have. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And then I have this, I have an up stroke with a hammer on and then a double and then sorry, down, up. So this is kind of what threw me off as well because I have the same figure as what I saw before with the double downs. But instead, because I loop around in this area, I have to do down, up, down, up. So it's this part that goes like this. You have, um, you have E, F, G, so like two, three, five, and then up stroke, hammer on, and then down, up. You do everything picking normally. And then this is up stroke with a hammer on, and then down, up. So those are the economy picking parts that I found were interesting. The other parts are totally picked normally. This part I found difficult when it was, when it's this loop like this, this. Five, six, five, three, six, three loop, because you have to use the pinky finger a lot. And it requires a lot of coordination between the third and the pinky fingers. This part here, I found it very, very difficult to coordinate the pinky and the third fingers and switching across the strings as well. It was difficult for me. A word about the tab transcription that I did. I did this transcription that's in like seven, eight, cause I wasn't exactly sure what time signature to put the tabs in. So I just kind of put them in that. Um, I hope it's easy enough to read. It was kind of hard to transcribe. So what is the point of practicing all these licks? So I think the point of it is to really know the notes that are in the scale, to know what the scale sounds like and to know kind of the atmosphere of the scale. But where you finger the scale on the guitar is really not that important. Um, after studying all of these licks, I've seen these scales played in a whole bunch of different positions and it doesn't seem to really make an effect on the speed that way you're playing the lick. The only important thing that I really found is that those big stretches are really a no-no. So my original conclusion of having big stretches in your lick being okay, that's totally out. Um, but for the fact of actually making what your lick is gonna sound like, I think you, you really need to study other guitarists and I guess I need to study more licks and then I'll be able to develop my lick better that way. But for the time being, I'm gonna be kind of stuck to playing the scales in their own positions. And then I'll see what I can come up with that. But um, I'd like to resuscitate some other lick challenges. Um, let's see if we can do like a gypsy lick challenge or a gypsy scale lick challenge or a hijaz lick scale challenge. I'll see what the hashtag is that works. But anyways, I'll leave, I'll leave something in the description or something like that. Uh, let's try the gypsy scale lick challenge. I think that'll sound good. Gypsy scale lick challenge. Let's try that um, and see what you come up with using the gypsy scale. Again, so what I've said is learn the notes that are in the scale, but it really doesn't matter where you play it on the neck of the guitar, it seems. Just as long as you know like what your fingering is and use the economy picking thing to help like relaunch your lick or locate you in the lick, something like that. Anyway, that's my conclusion. Um, so thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think. Make sure you click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also on my subscribe star page, which is new, I'm posting content to my subscribe star page. And um, that's where I post the extra lick breakdown. So I'll have the tabs for these licks that I've done in this gypsy lick, this hijaz scale. I have the exact tabs that I've worked on and where I play the scale, I play everything slowly and I show you exactly where it is. So if you want to learn exactly the licks that I played, you can check that out on my subscribe star page. Um, okay, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.